You there. Get yourself up to the guardhouse. The Commandant wants to talk to you. If you're looking for your cow, you're in the wrong place. Only cows we've got are already cut up, and the pieces belong to the order. Why would I be looking for cows? Farmers come here all the time to find their cows. Where's Daisy? I lost Moo Moo! Bloody nuisance. Why do they think you've got them? They come in saying I've taken them. I don't take them. I slaughter what I'm brought. The order tells me to slaughter cattle, so that's what I do. Mo will tell you the same. Who's Mo? My assistant. He's just doing his job as well. If you're missing your favorite milker, talk to the order. This place seems busy. This slaughterhouse is a gold mine, but all the profits go to the order. All the meat goes out to feed people. Baxter, next door, he does the books. Pays me, sends the rest of the order. They do make the operation run smoothly. Can I buy some meat? Buy what you want if you can pay for it. I have meat by the piece and sausage. I'm looking for Baxter. He's in the building next door, in the office. Let's talk business. The Naked Monk, a cookbook. I guess I'll make a copy of that. All right there. Who are you? Mo. I work for Dargle, delivering meat. I see. That's a tough job. Yeah, especially as I remove offal, keep the butcher's shop clean, render fat, and fetch cattle. If you don't want anything, can I get on? I've got a lot to do. Dargle told me about the farmers that come here. That they can get a little... annoyed. They kick up a mighty fuss too. But what can we do? We have orders to slaughter the cows. I usually try to stay out of it. Heard anything about the break-ins? You think because I do deliveries I'm in on them? I don't care about valuables. I care about music, beer, and keeping out of trouble. Sounds idyllic. I'm looking for a couple of skins. You're in luck. Here, you can have them. For free? What's wrong with them? Nothing. You're just taking them off my hands. They're Baxters, aren't they? You took them. And you're giving them to Baxter. So, no trouble needed for anyone. Yeah, like I'm just gonna let you... Keep your hands where I can see them. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Just a moment. If I take three at 25 plus 18 hams, that's... I can't do this with you staring at me. You're doing the accounts. I keep the books for the butcher's shop. There's a skill. You think calculating's easy? There's not many around here can do it. I can. Really? Well, I'm not doing a test to prove it. I used to teach, and I've seen that expression before. The face of blissful ignorance. Well, I'm sure you have more important things to do. About the break-in. What was stolen? What else? Gold, of course. The gold belongs to the Order. Now, it's gone. How much gold was taken? All of it. I don't know exactly how much, 
I was just about to do the accounts when I noticed a the theft. Who was in the house on the day of the break-in? Well, Doyle tried to sell me fish, but I don't like fish, so he left. That fat o Vassili brought beer. I paid for that, traded him a few pieces of meat. And, of course, Mo was here a few times, but that isn't unusually works here, after all. I'm here about the deal with Flavio. Flavio? Tell him I still don't have the goods. Five wolf skins and five boar skins. No more, no less. And I'll only take the complete delivery. Here are the skins Flavio promised. Yeah, let's see. Yes, yes, these look good. Can we do business? We have a deal. I'll take the furs, you take the meat. Hmm. Just endless lists and columns of numbers. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Holt, you're not coming in here. Commandant Carlos has summoned me. I know. I've been expecting you. Then are you going to let me in? Wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. What's this building? It's our guardhouse, and the headquarters of Carlos, the commandant of the town. How did you become a warrior of the order? I volunteered. Conscripts usually get sent to the temple ruins after training. I'd rather take guard duty in town any day of the week. They actually tried to make me become a mage. A mage? <laughs> I mean, really? All that messing around with magic. It's not natural. Who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? There's something here about magic. Put down the ladder ah. mine. Ah, there you are. It's about time. You know me. This is a small island. We've got used to refugees, but they still stand out. Question is, are you a spy for Don Esteban? Someone seeking to join the Order of the Flame? Or something else? So, why don't you tell me what you want in this town? I'm a castaway. 
I haven't taken any side. Hmm, is that so? Well, let me explain how things work here. In this town, Inquisitor Mendoza's law prevails, and I see that his law is followed. Every troublemaker and criminal who tries to break the law will be punished. Those who aid the civic cause and help to keep the peace will be rewarded. What future do you see for Harbour Town? What future for the world, for this island? Those things are in the hands of the Inquisitor. For us, we must keep this town safe for its citizens. Keep it a haven for refugees. Keep these honest people safe from the dangers without and within. Once we have done that, we must look to feed the people, find ways to survive until we have word from the mainland. How can I help you? I need loyal men to ensure this town stays within the law. We are working for order, for the common good. But there are criminals, outlaws who would destabilize what we have achieved. What about these outlaws you mentioned? Before the Inquisition came, Don Esteban had great influence in this town. But when we arrived here, he retreated. Now this bandit king is hiding somewhere beyond these walls. Without him, his people are disorganized. As long as their numbers remain manageable, they have no power, though they remain an irritant. If we are to stop them becoming more than that, we must remain alert. What is your role in this town? To defend it, to keep order, to protect the citizens in the order's care. That is my duty to the town. My duty to the order and humanity is to make sure the artifacts we find are shipped to the monastery. The temples that rose from beneath the ground are full of artifacts. And every petty thief on this island is trying to steal them. The Inquisitor has commanded that all artifacts are to be taken to the monastery. People think he wants them for money. But I sense he sees a link between these artifacts and the disasters that have befallen us. He is seeking a clue to our salvation. We must gather these artifacts. We must convey them safely to the monastery. We must see that the Inquisitor is able to proceed with his business. I will help you keep the law in this town. <clears throat> then root out the outlaws. Find those on the streets of my town that do not fit with the Order's plans, who do not seek the common good. Confront them and see to it that they can do no harm. My guards will help you. If you wish to join the Order, then do your duty and I will see to it that you advance. If you're looking to buy something, you'll have to talk to Comrade. I'll just work here. You don't sound too happy about that. My family's been selling our harvest to Comrade for years. When we lost everything in the troubles, he said he'd take us in. In? He makes us sleep outside. Tell me about Conrad. His house is full of supplies, but he won't share them with you if that's what you're after. He didn't lift a finger to help us when they took our cows to be slaughtered, and we've known him for years. Who took your cows? The Inquisition. Said they needed to feed people. But now how do we feed ourselves? Of course, Comrade talked to Carlos and got his cows spared. What happened to you? You must know what terrible things have befallen this island. All those ruins bursting from the ground. Some of them rose in the middle of our farm and the Inquisition said we had to leave. But my sons... My sons are still out there somewhere. They all went their own way before these creatures came. I hardly get a wink of sleep worrying about them. Do you know where they are? Do you know where my sons are? I have no idea. If you hear anything or meet someone who's been outside, please don't forget to ask about them. Please. Can't your husband help? Ingvar? Huh? 
We're in dire straits, and he's drinking the last of our gold in the tavern. What are your sons called? Beppo's the oldest. He didn't want to come to town with us. Always ran with the wrong crowd. I worry he's fallen in with the Don's gang. William volunteered for military service with the Inquisition. And Leon, my youngest, just took off in the night. How much is the information worth to you? I... I don't have any gold. But... If you do manage to leave the town... Yes? I have a little put aside for a rainy day. There's a couple of skins and the silver candle holders from my great-grandmother. I buried them behind the barn of our farm. Which is your farm? The farm on the path to the monastery. An Inquisition fighter named Severin is in charge there now. I'll keep my eyes open. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Don't get your hopes up. I met your oldest son, Beppo. Is he alright? I worry so about him. Yes, he's alive. He has a job in the ruins. But isn't that terribly dangerous? Don't worry, he's not alone. He has some strong fighters by his side. I've seen your youngest son, Leon. Really? He's alive then? Yes. He's living in a hut north of the town. That fills me with joy. Thank you for sharing this news. I hope he watches out for wild animals. The forest is very dangerous and he was always the weakest. If you want it, I've got it. If you're here to buy, welcome. If you're here just to look or to beg, get out. I'm trying to run a business. Show me your goods. So, you won't let Tilda into your house? Did she tell you that? The old witch. I give her food and room and all she does is whine. She does like to talk. Right. You know what some women are like. Today, I let her sleep under my roof. Tomorrow, she takes away my business. People say I'm single because women don't want me. I'm just wiser than that. Wiser. I can't help you anymore. Another new face. Welcome to the Merchant District. Are you looking for work or trade? Do you have work? We need all the help we can get. Any help in particular? The outlaws here are staying undercover. But they're still pursuing their dirty business. So I've heard. I'm certain Weasel is still one of the Don's men, but he spends all day sitting on a bench. So? Weasel is no saint. He used to run a protection racket here before the Don left. He's not doing that if he's sitting on a bench. A spider sits in its web, but it's still got murder on its mind. He's planning something, but I need evidence to stop him. You're new here. If you could talk to him, gain his trust. See if you can get evidence of his misdeeds. I'll see what I can do. Good. Good. Hey, how are you? Hush. Don't make such a noise, or we'll both get arrested. What's going on here? Hush. Not so loud. The white robe back there is starting to notice. Hernandez realizes I'm watching the Don's old house. We're screwed. You're working for the Don. You've just realized. Yeah, I have orders from the Don. 
and when he gives orders, you obey. Thing is, I could use some help. Sounds like you're no fan of the Inquisition. Yeah, and that bastard Hernandez has settled over there by the entrance and made himself comfortable. Looks like he's happy to spend the rest of his life guarding it, damn it. And I sit out here like an idiot, rain or shine. What is it you need to do? There's an old family heirloom of the Dons in the house, a golden amulet. If the white robes get their hands on it, they'll take it to their stupid monastery, and the Don will kill me. And I mean kill me, wake me up, and kill me again. Tell me about the Don's old house. It's that big building over there, but the white robes are in there, and they never leave. If you want to break in, you'll have to do it at night. Some of them will be asleep then. You want to steal from the white robes? Steal? They came storming into Harbour Town, taking anything they want. The house and everything in it belong to Don Esteban. I'm just going to return what already belongs to him. Where is this amulet? The Don mentioned a secret room, accessed by a hidden switch behind a picture. But how is anyone supposed to find the room in that huge house while the white robes are buzzing around? Right. I'll get you the amulet. Okay, but be smart. Esteban will kill us both if Hernandez gets his hands on it. How are you going to get by the white robes? I'll think of something. All right. I'll wait here. Let me through. <laughs> nice one! Don't get your hopes up. Who could teach me to pick locks? Keep your hands where I can see them. And what are you doing creeping about round here? Let me guess. You're lost, right? I'm just passing by. Then I'd just keep on doing that if I were you. I don't know you. Make sure I don't need to get to know you. Have you had problems with the Don's men? Of course. They're just waiting for the chance to snatch the town back from the Order. Take a look at that guy skulking across the street. Goes by the name of Tony. Isn't the sharpest tool in the box. He's been hanging around for days, things I haven't noticed. He's scoping the place out, waiting for a chance to break in. Someone needs to curb his curiosity, but I can't leave my post. I've heard the Don left a few possessions in this house when he fled town. Oh yes, such as? 
Apparently, he hid a golden amulet here. We searched this place from top to bottom and found nothing. A gold amulet is the kind of thing you'd notice. Where did you hear that, eh? That shifty bastard Tony. Don't listen to that lunatic. I'll sort Tony out. That would be appreciated. He isn't a pretty sight to look at all day. Although I would be interested to know what he's after. I've heard you're holding a treasure seeker prisoner. That's right. And he's staying here. Unless the bastard talks, of course. About this treasure seeker. What is he accused of? He isn't a treasure seeker. He's a treasure stealer. And he's gonna stay locked up until what he nicked turns up. Until Carrasco has three artifacts, three golden bowls in his hands, then this thief isn't going anywhere. Isn't there a way you can forget all this and let him go? Are you trying to bribe me? Until Carrasco tells me differently, no one is going in there. And Ulf isn't setting foot outside until I know what's happened to these three bowls he got his hands on. I think I can find the Don's amulet. Oh, really? Yes. And if Tony fails to get hold of it, he'll have to disappear from town. And you think the amulet has to be in this house? But we've searched it. But what if you missed it? You think your eyes are better than ours, huh? Well, go on then. Step inside. Let's put them to the test. What do you want here? Now who could teach me to pick locks? This text is about magic spells. Who could teach me to pick locks? Good Tidings, a history of the moon and the sea.
Now who could teach me to pick locks? Well, you're not a member of the Inquisition, and you don't look like a fighter. I'm not. I'm a treasure seeker. Ruins searched, tombs emptied, valuables recovered, pockets lined. When I'm not being held prisoner, that is. Can you teach me anything? I can show you how to prospect for ore with a pickaxe. I thought you were a treasure seeker. Hacking into a hidden wall or prospecting for ore, it's all the same. Only ore is much less interesting than treasure. Show me how to prospect. Show me how to prospect. First, you have to be able to tell where ore can be found. You can't just go swinging at any old rock. How do I recognize ore deposits? The stone glitters, and the structure of the rock is different. Often you can see ore bubbles. They hang on the rock like pimples. When you find a good rock, Take the pick in both hands and swing straight. That's very important. The point has to hit the deposit square on, or the rock will splinter, then it's worthless. Don't expect to be as good as I am from the off. It takes practice. But put in the time and you can make decent coin from prospecting. You're a treasure seeker. Any good? My brothers and I are the best. You're one of the triplets. You always work together. Three heads are better than one. And three sets of arms when it comes to shoveling. We know our craft. Not like the amateurs they filled the ruins with now. We came a long way to end up on this island. And now we're stuck here. Who do you triplets work for? We're free agents. We work for whoever pays the most. Pay us, we'll deliver. Treasure seeking is just digging, isn't it? You think? There's skill to it. That's why we're paid, skill and danger. We've sailed the most dangerous seas and gone where fighters fear to tread. What did you do to get locked up? The Inquisition wanted me and my brothers to work for them. We're independent operators. Picking sides is bad for business. Then they got wind we'd dug up these three golden bowls. And they want them. They're obsessed with artifacts. They can lock me up for as long as they like, but I'm not telling them a thing about those bowls, unless they pay me a decent price. How much do you want for these golden bowls? Want to join the queue, do you? Well, at least you're talking price. That's more than they are. Give me 200 gold and I'll tell you where I hid mine. Deal. What kind of job are you looking for? We're not fussy. At least not while we're stuck here, we're not. If you have a job for us, then don't stay silent. Although, you'll have to help us get out of town first. I definitely can't help you if I'm locked up. You need me? You'll have to convince Hernandez to let me go. How do I convince Hernandez to let you go? Well, you know why they're holding me. They want the three bowls. So? Get those three bowls out of circulation, I'm suddenly less interesting. Find them. Make them disappear. How can I take these bowls out of circulation? Well, if you can get your hands on them, you can sell them to someone who can get them out of town. What if the Inquisition get to them first? Then it's up to you to handle it. The bowls just need to vanish from town. Look, just tell me where this golden bowl is hidden, or you'll rot here. That knowledge is valuable. No payment, no information. I thought you wanted out of here. I'm not gonna sell myself short to get out. No point in being free without a future, is there? I could use your help. There's a large temple on the east of the island. It's still sealed. The Inquisition can't have found it yet. That sounds promising. Temples almost always equal treasure, especially on this island. What does the entrance look like? The entrance is blocked. It looks like it's collapsed. Ah, that's no problem. Show us where the temple is. 
and we'll open it up. But we're going to have to get free of this place to do it. I'll get you out of town. You sound like you take pride in your work. I like that. Well, if you're up for it, you'll have to deal with the guard at the entrance. I doubt I'll get out of here unless you can persuade Hernandez to free me. Shouldn't your brothers know what we're planning? Yes. Tell them to come to our meeting point. They'll know where I mean. Okay, I'll tell them to go there. Great. I bet they're drinking themselves into a stupor in the Gutters Tavern or on the Harbor Quay. <laughs>